Hey guys, Rani here, your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. Today we are going to tackle part two of our series about colors. So last week, if uh, for those of you who remember, we had a tutorial on how to use colors, how to learn more about color theory and the different color tools within the Canva universe. So we went over the section of the Canva website that is canva.com slash colors. And we discovered and talked about the four different tools available for us uh, there on the Canva website. Today, we are going to go over three resources that are not in the Canva universe. So I'm going to show you three different resources I use regularly to work with colors that are not in the Canva universe. Are you ready? All right. So the first one is coolers.co. So coolers is an actual uh, color palette generator. And that is the coolest tool, well, almost the coolest tool. I, I will keep the coolest tool for the end. But coolers is very is a very cool tool. So you go to coolers.co, okay, not com, not co. Cool, like oh, that's cool, and ers like colors, coolers.co. Alright? So you will find here on the coolers homepage, uh, you will find this color palette generator. So the super fast color scheme generator. So you can simply click the blue button to start the generator, and it's free. All right, so you can browse uh, and scroll down and you will see that they have different kinds of tools. They have uh, a color palette library, like you see like over a million different color and ready-made color palettes. You can view them with this button. They have an app so that you can use on your uh, Android or iOS device. And then they also have an, an integrator to integrate coolers, palette library, and, and color tools with your Adobe software, with Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, and, that, and I think that's, that's it. Um, so, but what is really of uh, my interest right here and the tool that I use the most frequently is the color palette generator. So let me show you how it works, the generator. So I click on the blue button right here and then coolers is going to open the generator so that's how it looks like there is an annoying little ad right here but i don't know how to close it so that's the thing about ads they are annoying all right so these are five colors here in my palette and you can see that i have different options for each of the colors so what's going on here is that I can shuffle these colors by using the space bar on my keyboard. I'm going to hit the space bar and see they are shuffled. This is pretty random, but the color palettes that are showing you are not random. They have been carefully selected um, according to color theories and a number of design influences and stuff like that. So when you hit the space bar, it shuffles the colors, except when you lock some of these colors, you see this little lock padlock icon right here, I can lock. So if I like this yellow color or orange yellow color here in the middle, I can lock it and then I shuffle, but this one color won't be shuffled. It will remain here. So like this, you can basically create your color palette. You can drag them so that you can rearrange them like this. So I, for now, I lock this one and this one. The others will still be shuffling. Okay, let's say I like this gray right here. I'm going to lock it and continue to shuffle. Okay, let's keep this white and find the last color here of our palette. So you just keep pushing the space bar until you find the color you want. So uh, let's say that's good for now. So once you have your color palette, like all the colors in your palette, you can do a couple of things. You can tweak them, like you can tweak each and every individual color, like you can slightly saturate or desaturate a color, you can adjust the brightness, uh, and so like this you can really have a lot of control over a specific color. You can drag and drop them, as I said already, and you can see different shade of every color. So this is super useful as well. All right, so uh, the next thing is that you can actually export this color palette in a variety of formats. You can go PDF, PNG, SVG, and other formats right here that I don't even know about, all right? 
you can save it if you log in you can save it to your coolers account which is also an interesting feature and then another way of using this uh, color palette generator is that sometimes you already have a color or two so let's say you work for a client and they give you their logo and their logo looks something like uh, I don't know let's find a random logo logo for a beer company okay all right so we have this logo right here so they gave us this so obviously there is black or a color that looks very similar to black and then there is this yellow so you will find a way to grab this color me I have the color picker right here and I'm going to come to the color picker in just a moment but first I need to uh, download this photo okay so I will save or I'll actually open this photo in its original website and see if I can grab the color of this yellow yes I can from here so I grabbed it it's right here right now so I can copy it from my color picker and I will come to the color picker that's my coolest tool actually that's the third uh, option I want to show you and let's say I found this yellow color and I want to use it okay so there there it is and then I want to grab the, the black color. It looks like a black, but it could be a dark gray. So to be sure, I'm just going to use my color picker. You see, it's not black because black would be uh, zero, 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 like six zeros. This is not six zeros. So this is actually a dark gray. And I'm going to add this right here as my second color. And I keep it locked. I will unlock the other ones. And maybe what I can do is to drag this one over here. So now I can start generating more colors to complement my brand colors right here that are basically, sorry, basically the colors from the logo of the client I'm working for or my own logo, for instance. Is, this is uh, what you have in hand, what you have to start your design with. So this is very, very exciting tool. Uh, I've been using this a lot actually um, to complement color palettes for customers to use for my own designs and when I have an idea of hey, okay I want to start with this color uh, but I don't know how to generate a palette that will go well with this I use the color palette generator from coolers All right let me show you some more options right here uh, and show you how the palette library looks like so it's more like a more common tool right uh, we have these kind of tools in Canva we have them also on other websites but it's still interesting to see the different options that we have here you can save them if you're logged in or you can export them again in a variety of formats so this could be pretty interesting if you want to for example decide which color to use which color palette to use for a specific design or if you have to send a couple of options to your client uh, these could be an interesting starting point. All right, so let's move on to the second resource uh, that I want to show you today, which is Color Lovers. Okay, Color Lovers is a community of people who love colors, a community of creators, online creators, graphic designers, illustrators, and people who work with graphic design and colors. So the website here, I don't know if, if it's going to look uh, the same from your computer but here in Thailand I have a bunch of different ads popping up all the time which is pretty annoying uh, maybe this has to do with your local IP I don't know but uh, this website looks uh, quite crowdy in my opinion it, it didn't look that crowdy when I was like logging to it from different locations but maybe uh, things change you know who knows the thing is, Color Lover is a very interesting community. You can browse, if you use the top menu here, you can browse palettes, patterns, pattern templates, shapes, colors, and then Lovers is for, I think, the users of this community. But if you, for example, uh, browse for palettes, you will have a bunch of different options right here of color palettes. And again, uh, this is pretty common you can find you see there's a huge collection like more than 300,000 pages so I think 10, 10 palettes or 20 palettes per page that's a huge collection of palettes uh, so every time you click on a color palette you will have of course all the color like the hex codes and the RGB codes again you see all these ads 
um, and the name of each and an individual color. So this is pretty useful. You can find some good palette combination here. And also what I wanted to show you, if you browse by palettes, you can, because it is a community, you can uh, filter by the most loved, the most commented, and the most favorited. Okay, so the most loved should give you pretty like popular color palettes uh, for you to work with. So sometimes I used to, uh, sometimes I, I go to this website to just see what are the latest trends, what are the community of designers liking at the moment. Maybe um, the new ones could be also interested to see new stuff like more fresh content, etc., etc. You see these ads keep popping up. So. That's one of the reasons kind of, I kind of abandoned this one resource, but it's still very interesting, especially if you start browsing patterns. So let me show you how this works. So patterns, basically you see a, a huge collection of patterns that you can download directly and start using in your design. So let me show you how this works. You click on one of the patterns and then you can fa favorite this pattern. You can download it as well if I'm not mistaken let me see where is it it's here okay I can love this and let me see if I can download this yes you can download like pattern image for your screen so that's the resolution of your screen preview and you can ha you can download this pattern in different dimensions so let me just download it like 800 pixel by 600 and then you have this, you can insert this into Canva, for example, let me save this. I will save this as an image. Okay, let's call it pattern number one. And you can import this into Canva. Let's create a presentation, for example. Let's go grab this pattern, drop it into Canva right here. What I'm going to do, yeah, it's loading. I'm going to insert a grid and then, yes, it's uploaded, drop this in my grid, make sure that the text at the bottom is not visible, and there you have it. You have a nice pattern that you can start using. So you can give this some transparency, you can change the hues, uh, you can change the saturation. Uh, so this is pretty cool what you can actually do finding patterns this one is quite complex but you can find more subtle patterns directly from uh, color lover right here and they have thousands hundreds of thousands of patterns so go ahead and browse these again you just go browse patterns and again you can go most love most commented most favorited and like this you can find some cool patterns for you to work with so this could be used uh, full screen like i showed you but also you could use this as a separator. Let's say you, you like this one. I'm going to download this again, like uh, let's use a higher resolution this time. Let's say 1024 by 768. Okay, save this. I'm going to call this pattern 02 and import this into Canva. Okay, right here, create a new page. And instead of creating a full page grid, like before, I'm gonna create a grid, but I'm going to reduce the size of this grid to a line of some kind, okay? And you don't need to have like a full, full page length. Just like this, you can reduce the size of your line and insert that pattern inside of your line to have a pretty cool line or separator or whatever you like and if you want the pattern to look bigger you can just make it look bigger like this position it as you wish and then you have a cool little line right here that can have any pattern really like a, a multitude of patterns so um, just be careful that if you use some of these patterns you might have to attribute or to give credit to site where you found it uh, so you have to read carefully what they say here about being able to use these patterns okay grab this badge code um, so you have to read like licensing so you can credit credits must be given to sugar commercial use is not allowed so you have to read the pattern license here and what you can and cannot do with each of these patterns what else on uh, color lovers you can search for shapes as well 
So shapes can be also interesting and uh, you have a bunch of different shapes. I will let you discover about this because we are getting a little bit away from the theme and the topic of this video, which is colors. But be aware that Color Lovers offers all these cool options. So the website looks a little bit obnoxious at, at first, like with all these pop-ups and all these ads showing all the time. But if you can go over this, if you can make your way through the powerful library of palette patterns and shapes right here, you can find some pretty cool resources for your designs. All right, and the last tool I want to talk about is the eyedropper, so the color picker right here. So this little guy right here is an extension. For, for me, for example, I use Chrome, so the Google browser, and uh, this is just a Chrome extension. So how do you find Chrome extensions? Well, you have to go to the three little dots right here uh, from your computer, from Chrome, and then you go uh, More Tools, and then you go Extensions, okay? So once you are in the extension page, I would say, I don't know, section of the Google Chrome, uh, you can search for extension, and this one is called the Eyedropper, okay? So if I click on this one, click on Details, you can see what it does, what it doesn't do, and I think if it's not yet installed, you will have more information. But since it's already installed on my computer, it looks like this. But what this guy does, basically, so the eyedropper, they also have an official website, which is not very interesting. It's just uh, they're trying to get some donation money because this is a free extension. So you can go ahead and download it for free, install it in your Chrome browser. Um, there might be other color picker for other browsers if you're uh, using a different one like Mozilla or Opera, um, Safari. This is really, I don't know about the other ones, but this one is the one I use all the time. So once you have it installed, it looks like this. And the cool thing about this, let me go back to, for example, this website. You can just select the pick, like the button right here that says pick color from the web page and then basically everything you see you will be able to grab the color very easily with this little color picker so let's say you you like this yellow right here or this blue right here you can just hover over the color with your mouth with your mouse sorry <laughs> not your mouth your mouse and uh and just click to grab the color you see now the color has been grabbed here and then the color picker gives me a bunch of different colors, the name of the color, but also the hex code. So this is what's interesting to us. We want the hex code. So you select this, you go back to Canva. Let's say we create a rectangle, okay? And we want to change its color. Since I copied it from my color picker, I can simply paste it like this. Uh, this might not be new for many of you, but for those of you who don't know about the color picker, just download it because this is really powerful and will help you in your designs. So this works also within Canva. So uh, for example, uh, you want to grab the color from an element on your Canva design, like this purple right here, boom, you just use the color picker. It will give you the hex code that you can copy. It would be nice to have a one-click copy like Canva. And I'm sure Canva is working on a color picker. I cannot believe that a, a design app like Canva is not working on a color picker. They will work on a color picker, they will come up with a color picker one day and it's going to be the best color picker on the internet, probably, because it's going to be one click like they are doing with the color section on their website. And so everything is going to be much easier. But until then, you have to work with something, right? So the eyedropper extension for Chrome is your best bet so far. All right, so that uh, concludes our section about colors. I hope you enjoyed this series of tutorials. So for those of you who are watching this one and haven't seen part one, I suggest you go back to the Facebook group and scroll back down a little bit on the feed to find uh, the first part of this tutorial. I hope you like this series about colors. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment and I will see you video.